Another way that, that we are being attacked in the battle of the hearts is not just a physical war. It is a war of desires, a shahwa. The desires will kill your heart. And the scholars have told us if you eat food and you eat too much and you are overly filled with food and you start to get lazy and ignorant and you will leave your Islamic practices and it will actually affect your heart. And so desires and we see it today pumped up in front of us with the billboards. We see it on the trains. We see it in the television, in the movies. All around us, our desires are being pumped up. The television is now showing movies to the younger generation that would be considered XXX movies before. Now it's a regular thing. They pump up people's desires. And some Muslims get pumped up with their desires. They're watching the movie and it's time to get married and they want their husband. They say, okay, here is Zaid. You will marry Zaid. Zaid, it must be Superman. They want him to be Superman. They expect their wife to be a uh, Miss Universe who's half of the Quran and a black belt in karate. That's what some of them will say in Muslim harmony. The brother come to me, he said he wants his wife must be five foot ten. She must be half of the Quran. She must be a, a PhD. Uh, she must be beautiful. I said, brother, what are you? If you want this, you want Miss Universe in hijab. Are you Mr. Universe in a kufi? What do you have? Come down to reality. We are human beings. Love is not something, it's not infatuation. This is shaitanic that Cupid comes along and strikes you and you're hopelessly in love. True love develops between individuals when they love Allah and His Messenger, when they strive together, when they make dua together, when they move in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.